I, last night I watched Scott of the Antarctic, the 1948 adaptation of the story of Captain Scott and his ill-fated mission to the South Pole. It stars John Mills in the lead role and chronicles the build-up to the expedition, um, Scott's recruitment of various disparate types, uh, adventurers, soldiers, sailors, scientists, uh, travelling south and eventually making his way across the great continent uh, on his ill-fated journey, uh, famously, of course, getting to the South Pole second after the Norwegian Royal Amundsen and then dying only about only 11 miles from um, a uh, supply depot on the way back. Um, it's a brilliantly made film for 1948, particularly um, with location shooting in uh, Switzerland and Norway, um, huge ice fields and snow fields that couldn't possibly have been done in studio uh, and make for some very impressive imagery. Um, and uh, Mills embodies Scott as a, a noble hero. Um, and that's the problem, really, because um, it's dated extremely poorly. Scott is now regarded as something of an irresponsible bungler. Um, her, his mission was poorly funded, uh, poorly supplied, overly ambitious in its aims as being both uh, a race to the pole and a scientific research mission, uh, taking all kinds of new technology with him, even though a lot of it wound up being completely useless, uh, and insufficiently in control of his men. Had uh, some um, orders been followed about um, meeting the returning men with dogs, it was likely that um, Scott and his uh, party of five wouldn't actually have died on the way back from the pole. But the film glosses over a lot of this. It paints Scott far too much as someone undone by circumstance, that the weather was bad, that um, Amundsen's uh, expedition was too successful. Um, there's little mention of Shackleton, um, who was the great British polar explorer and who achieved far more than Shackleton, who achieved for far more than Scott, rather, just because uh, Scott got to the pole and Shackleton didn't. Uh, Shackleton manages to uh, get his entire expedition uh, back across um, Antarctica and to safety without so much as a finger lost to uh, frostbite, whereas uh, Scott got many of his men killed. Um, so it's interesting to see this historical perception of the great British victory. Um, any uh, attempt to do the story now, I think, would be more reflective of reality. Although it's a well-made production, it does have other problems, such as um, the large number of interchangeable male characters. Um, I had my eye out for the actor Barry Letts, uh, who would go on to... Uh, move into the producing and directing and become one of Doctor Who's most successful producers in the 1970s. But uh, although he's clearly a major player in the movie, I couldn't identify him and his character is never named on screen. Um, Christopher Lee has a very brief appearance as one of the explorers. And uh, even though the film is under two hours, it felt like there was too much time given over to the day-to-day uh, -day activities and not the actual efforts of the mission itself. Uh, we're told there are plans for you know, scientific research while they're there. We never see any of it or understand what they have in mind to do. Um, the film is aimed seemingly at those who already hero worship Scott and um, are unwilling to accept anything more complex than that. I found the film to be rather disappointing and single mind, uh, simple minded. And were another version made today, I would expect it to be a little more faithful to reality.